All right, looking at the kite example here, we're trying to find the, the uh, area in the perimeter of, of a kite. Um, now, if we're talking area, um, kites have the exact same formula as a rhombus for its area. It's diagonal one times diagonal two divided by two. Um, so right away, we've been given all the information we need to find the diagonals. So diagonal one, I added two plus the rest of the way, 6.5. So two plus 6.5 gives us 8.5 for the first diagonal. Uh, diagonal two has been bisected. Each half is four. So four plus four equals eight. So we have our two diagonals. We're going to plug those in. So we have um, 8.5 times 8 divided by 2. Uh, multiply those together, you get 68. Divide that by 2, we have an area of 34 feet squared. Now for the perimeter, um, the, you know, the two sides here to the left, these two are actually going to be the same length. The two sides here to the right are going to be the same length. Uh, remember with a kite, we have uh, you know, two, pairs of congruent, two pairs of consecutive congruent sides. Um, so you guessed it, we're going Pythagorean theorem again to try to find those lengths. So the triangles on the left here, let's say we're doing the you know top left triangle, I guess we can say. Um, so we have four squared plus two squared equals x squared. Uh, we got 16 plus four equals x squared, 20 equals x squared. We take the square root of both sides and x is gonna be the square root of 20. Now again, I could reduce that to uh, you know, four point whatever decimal it is, but I'm going to keep it as root 20 so that I don't have to round until the very end of the problem. Uh, looking at the two triangles on the right, I don't know, let's say we're using the top right one. It doesn't matter. They're both the same. Uh, let's go ahead and use the Pythagorean theorem there. So we have 6.5 squared plus 4 squared equals y squared. And again, I just called it y because I had just used x on the last one. You can make up any variable you want. Uh, we square 6.5, you should get 42.25. Square 4, you should get 16. When we add those together, we get 58.25. We have to take the square root of both sides, so y ends up being the square root of 58.25. And again, I figured I'll just round later. Now to finish it off, we just have to add the four sides together. So we have the perimeter equals root 20 plus root 58.25 plus the square root of 20 plus the square root of 58.25 uh, when we add all four of those together and round to the nearest tenth, you should get that the perimeter is about 24.2 feet.